I said, go up. The job is done. Another time now, assumption. Shall I go up? Don't go. You just wait. Until so and so thing happen. Then go up and you have the victory. Lord, shall this ministry move out to Kaduna or remain here in the Lauren? My wife and I were praying and Jesus came. Stand up. Life. Early morning. And I did say, take your Bible. And I did. And then at 22 verse 10, jumped out. And I said, Lord, what shall I do? Direct. And the Lord said, arise and go to Damascus. Direct. In response to the question asked. He brought the answer direct from scripture. I wasn't flipping. He didn't say open to us chapter 10, 22 verse 10. As I opened my Bible, that's the page that opened. And as I put my eyes on the Bible, that's the one I saw. Direct. Oh Lord, why is this church not growing? Why are we crawling? This is not the way to go. Jesus, what's going on? What's getting wrong? What are we missing out? And then on the third day, stand up and follow me. Life. Broad day afternoon. And I followed him. And I, we got to him and said, now turn back from here. And I turned back. And I saw a layer of, you know, um, darkness on the top of the roof of the church. So that's the blindfolding weapon the devil uses to misinterpret what I, Jesus, am doing in this church. Amen. Amen. And gave four clean instructions. Then a church growth revival began. Hallelujah. Amen. In response to asking questions. I was on my way to Enugu and I was in Makodi when the Lord said to me, don't raise money raise men and you have more money than you ever need for ministry life I was in the car you are in service you are in touch with encounters amen. amen please take advantage of this season why is my health going up and down what's going on what's going wrong here I know nothing is ever wrong with you if anything is wrong it's wrong with me that which I know not teach me show me the way out of this predicament I'm long overdue for a change of story. You ask sincere questions, you are entitled to sincere answers. You won't miss your encounter this time. Amen. You are the principal actor on all issues concerning your life. It is we that initiate how God responds to us. This season is vital. Don't miss it for anything. I therefore decree today another day of divine encounters. Amen. For everyone under the sound of my voice. You have heard the word of the Lord. And I have given you some life examples. To let you know it's time to ask questions. Nobody goes about houses asking. Do you have questions? No. No. People have questions. Ask them. <laughs> People have questions. They ask them. Whatever question you genuinely ask. Not accusing God. Not justifying yourself against God. Many believers are in problem because I've done everything God said. Is this God reliable? They won't say that. But by saying I've done everything means you are displaying your ignorance. Have you done the right thing? Everything and the right thing is not the same. Have you done the right thing? Glory to God. Somebody's destiny is turning around. Amen. Lift up those two hands. Praise God. Pray and sing God. I'd like you to sing it with confidence now. Pray and sing God. Praise Tim. Take it up. Right? Pray and sing God. You deserve. You're the prayer and string God. You are, you are the prayer and string God. Prayer and string God, you deserve. Prayer and string God. With the prayer and string God. 
You are the prayer of stream God. We call you prayer of stream God. You are worthy of praise. You desire the praise. You are worthy of praise. You desire the praise. You desire the In the time appointed and the day of salvation of Sokodi, behold, now is the accepted time. Behold, today is the day of salvation. If you walk with that exhortation we had, I will inquire in this temple. The Psalm 27, verse 4. Make your inquiries today, and you'll be out of that crossroad. Because it's always there. Hallelujah. The day is declared your day. Everything answers in your favor today. Your time in his presence will produce amazing results. There is no question you ask today that will not find an answer through an encounter. So shall it be. It shall be a most refreshing day. A most enriching day. And the most empowering day. Amen. Again, coronavirus is caused. And it's caused from the roots. Amen. It shall no longer kill. Amen. Heaven has placed a verdict. Yes. It's enough. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. For liberating the nations of the earth. Yes. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. For liberating mankind from this scourge. Yes. Thank you, Jesus. For restoring life back to our streets across the nations of the earth. Thank you, Jesus, for opening up our schools all across the nations. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord, for opening up the marketplaces everywhere and in every nation. To you be all the praise in Jesus' precious name. Lift up those two hands and give God thanks. It's your day. Lift your voice and give glory to God. Appreciate him and celebrate him. Give him the glory due unto his name. Thank him and thank him and thank him. Give him praise, give him glory, give him honor. Give adoration unto him. Father, we say thank you. Blessed be your holy name. In Jesus' precious name, we have given thanks. Let's share the goodness of